good morning happy friday friday ascension update and it's very wet very windy where i am lovely morning and we're we're literally we're three days away from the big switch over the big the big incoming of light and uh i was thinking very carefully about what i'm gonna say this morning and um it's almost like every single message that could have been put out about the preparation for this date has been set and we are simply down now to relaxing bringing yourself into alignment and focusing on what you want rather than what you don't want now that that, that message has been repeated to me kind of again and again over the last course of the days there is you've, you've heard me say it over the course of the year there is so many reasons to be distracted there's so many so many causes there's so many things to trigger us and bring our energies out of alignment and my guidance at the moment is simply be the light bring that light in it's coming in it's 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 coming in whether we do it we don't do it whether the there's forces on this planet that are trying to prevent it all from occurring it is happening so today is just simply about preparation for the for the next three days until we reach the 21st and then here we are now over the course of this year we've experienced the most incredible shifts and changes and always in the background the light has been increasing now for for those of you out there that are wanting to know what's going to happen on the 21st what are we going to experience you know what is the world going to change yes it is going to change but it's only going to change energetically we are the wheels in motion for the physical change so we will wake up on the 22nd of december in the same bodies in the same space you know with with a different with a different set of toys to play with basically this is what is happening so bring yourselves into alignment this is my my message is simple this morning be the energy that you wish to see in the world around you although there are challenges there are changes to make there are all of these things that are occurring around us which could easily draw us in drop our vibration we are now here to aim for the top okay the line has been drawn in the sand in fact it was drawn some time ago we just had to reach that line and we are the light it's as simple as that we've we're, we are in the process of changing from a an ego-based consciousness into a heart-based consciousness and many of us so many of us around the world now have experienced that transition are going through that transition will be watching people around them go through that transition and i was um i was given the most beautiful book by a lady in the united states as i've 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 emailed to say thank you but if if you're out if you probably be watching this at some point and you you just have my heartfelt gratitude it's a it's a book called the seven beloved archangels speak and it was written amazingly in 1954 and i've never before have i felt such clarity from the channelings in the book and i just want to read a little bit from the first archangel who um who, who speaks within the book who happens to be archangel shamuel now archangel shamuel government governs the the development of the fifth dimensional heart or is one of the archangels who um who is assisting or has been assisting humanity with the transition from the from the from the old the old kind of heart methods into the new fifth dimensional heart methods and so it's archangel shamuel it's archangel christial and universal angel mary but shamuel has been working with the fifth dimensional heart chakra energies since the beginning of time and and uh, also at a much higher frequency i just want to read a little uh, you know a few of his words in here and his flame his pink flame is called in this particular book the flame of adoration and throughout his throughout his tra the, the the transmission in the book he's simply saying whatever you are doing whatever you focus on pour the flame of adoration into it which is simply saying set your focus at the highest level possible 
whatever you are doing, pour your love into it. Whatever you focus upon, pour your adoration into it, devotion, and, and just simply focus on what you want to achieve at the highest frequency rather than what you don't want to experience. That is so important at the moment because so many people around the world are, are tuned into the things that they don't want to have within their reality. And the simple aspects of alchemy is that whatever you focus upon increases and grows. So I just want to read a little bit because the, the, these, the words just light me up when, I'm, when, I'm, when I've read them myself. Sweep my flame of adoration through every condition in your life. To double your supply, to double your enthusiasm, to double your ability to serve and desire to serve, to triple all of your activities. It can be done. Works, not words, are order of the day. Everything increases through attention. The more life streams that have their attention on God, the greater the magnet, and the greater the magnet, the more souls come into divine alignment. You have seen it with crowds. Two people gather together and soon you have a grouping. People are drawn here and there by attention and by love. We move now into the new day. Remember Shamuel. Remember to magnify and amplify the good. Okay, now those words just resonate. I'm gonna put this book in my pocket because it is raining and it's, it's, it's precious. So the, these are the words, or the, this is the energy that I'd like you, or, or, like, or, or I'd like the whole planet to take into the solstice is just focus on the light. Just bring everything in your light, every, everything in your life around you into the highest alignment. Hold that intention because whatever you are focusing on now will be lit up by this, by this cosmic downpouring. When this book was written, there was, there was one primary source of light for our planet as, as it was developing in, in, in the period of time. What we're going to be stepping into an octave of light that is way, way higher. Or, we're, or, or we already are experiencing it if you take the, the particular timelines out of it. And the, it's, it's what we're here to do. I know it's, it's, coming, it's coming towards the end of the year, but this, this solstice, the, the Saturn and the Jupiter conjunction, everything is indicating the beginnings of a new reality. And that new reality will require us stepping into it with only the, only the highest vibrations or the, only the highest attention and focus. Of course, we're going to have challenges. Of course, there's going to be distractions, but it's how we engage with that that actually counts, with actually, that actually matters the most. So I'm, I'm so excited about this, this period of time. It's a, apart from, I love this time of year anyway, because as from the 21st, I can start counting the minutes, the, the, the minutes that the evening gets lighter. Yes, I am one of these people that will kind of go, go through the whole of January going, it's a minute lighter tonight, which, which annoys everybody around me horrendously. And then by February, you can start seeing the evenings getting lighter again fully, but the the it's not just the physical light it's the it's this incredible etheric light that we are now integrating so if if you are kind of imagining that the the light switch is just going to be be turned on all of a sudden on on the solstice that that's not the information that i've been given we've been built up over the course of the year <clears throat> so we're, we're prepared for it we're when 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 this becomes like an official source of light sort of thing it's, um, we are already fully integrated, we've, we've prepared. Every single one of you that's been listening to my videos over the course of the year, who's been preparing spiritually, or you might simply have just come across this page recently, it doesn't matter, the, the, the whole of the planet has been subjected to the same quantity of light, the flows, the integrations, the releases, 
and we are simply ready for it so happy solstice the next time i talk to you um via video will be will be on the day i'm going to do i'm going to do a meditation monday in the morning but for those of you who are attending the event with uh, sally with jackie with paul and i on the 20th look forward to seeing you there and for those of you lovely souls who are joining david and i on the 21st on the actual solstice day it's going to it's going to be a powerful day sending you all loads of love happy friday and uh, keep that light high your frequency clear your manifestation sharp we're gonna do it lots of love